Hi there, uh, Gio Riggio Manus. Meet Giorgio Manus, the world's first revolving limousine driver. Great. Well, I'll be the instructor for your limousine operator's test, so just keep things straight and quick, and this will be over ASAP. Hmm. If only our pal here could see inside Giorgio's head. See? There's only one way this chauffeur drives. And it's with a twist. Giorgio never stopped revolving. As a kid, Giorgio learned to move with the spin instead of fighting it. People, small obstacles, nothing could stop Giorgio from twisting and turning. Well, except for buildings, lampposts, you know things taller than a limousine, B but against everything else, unstoppable. Stop here at the DMV gate? Well, I guess you passed, barely. Here's your driving report. You'll get one of these after every ride. Enjoy the thrilling world that is the luxury transportation industry, I guess. With a limo license, the world was George. Hey kid, the name's Mickey. Mickey the Mechanic. I've never seen anyone drive like you just did at the DMV. Can you show me some more? I need a ride to my shop down the block. This spinning thing is even better from the inside. This, this is the future of transportation. Wow, kid. Have you ever thought of going pro? Look, if you ever want to take on the city, just come back to me. Hell, I'll even help you out with parts. You and me, kid, we could go all the way. Okay, okay, you just met me, it's a little weird. But kid, seriously, think about it. I'll be right here at the garage. Driver? I'm sorry, my car is stuck at the stupid mechanics and my kid is late for school. Can you give her a ride there? Thanks. Communicating silently was Giorgio's bread and butter. With just a quick look at the stare on that adorable munchkin, Giorgio knew they needed to make a detour. Alas, all good things must come to it. Giorgio needed to get these pint-sized pals to school. Let's take the bike truck to school. Please, pretty 
please. Oh, fine. I'm heading to the school's baseball field. Oh, it's you. Yeah, so I teach both driving and baseball. You want to make a big deal about it? Those kids aren't going to base those balls themselves. Let's go, Giorgio. <laughs> Yeah, I know. The school spends all this money on learning and buildings, but they can't even put a baseball stadium on campus. Priorities, am I right? <sighs> it's worse than I thought. I don't know if what they're doing even counts as baseball. Okay, kids, listen up. Hey, listen up. I don't know what you're doing here, but in this town, we play baseball. You see this chauffeur here? Even Giorgio can play better baseball than you. Show him. Giorgio had never used a limousine as a baseball bat before, but there's a first time for everything. Run! All right, kids, see, that's how you do it. Now get out there and give me 10 laps. Come on, move, move, move! my date down the road. Well, uh, I mean, we're seeing a movie after, but, well, she's just meeting me. Oh gosh. Oh no. What if she's allergic to flowers? Damn it, Steve, you ruined everything. Hi. Hi. Uh... Let's, let's go, driver. So, uh, you like movies? Yeah, movies are okay. You like movies? Yeah, I love movies. What about you? Uh... Thanks. So, do I pay you now, or later, or do I- Oh! Thanks, Giorgio. Wait, you got a limo to drive us to the drive-in theater? Damn it, Steve! Hey. <laughs> Giorgio was beginning to get the hang of this whole limousine for hire thing. Little did Giorgio know that a curveball was about to land in the back seat. Thank you, thank you, thank you! Are you, you're Giorgio? Oh, thank goodness you're here. I'm running a little behind. You see, uh, Julia's wedding is at 11, not 1, so we need to book it. Let's go, Giorgio! Just the bee's knees. Th 